good money. Well, a few days ago, uh, I purchased a domain from Google Domain and I tried to sell it to a Bluehost server name. So if you have purchased your domain name from Google and you like to point it to Bluehost server names, I'm going to show you the process. So it's about two days process. The first time when you purchase the domain, you can go to Bluehost. Pretty much I'm going to tell you how I did it. I already have a website. I purchased the domain on Goldari years ago and I host it on Bluehost platform. But I have a plan that allow me to have multiple websites in the same account. It will cost me just the same fee every year. So I have other domains name that I purchased after that, but I purchased them from Google and probably I might just show a video, record a video to show how you can purchase your domain name from Google. So I purchased uh, the domains from Google and then I hosted them on Bluehost as well within the same account as add-on domain. So they are same, they are their own and I created their own website for them. But I'll, oh, I'll do that. But yes, you can do the same thing if you already have a plan that allow you to have to create multiple website in within the same account at Bluehost. Let me show you the process. So the first day we did how to verify the domain and point it to Bluehost. But then he said it will take 48 hours for the process to go through. So pretty much the reason why I wanted to show you this page here before we start you'll want to see the domain right away so I'm just going to scroll down to make sure that that 48 hours that I waited it didn't aromatically point point uh, the domain where I want it. So I'm going to scroll down and I didn't see the one that I'm looking for. So on the left, so you pretty much log into your Bluehost account and you go to domain. So under domain, you will have your primary. If you already have an account with them, you'll have your primary and then I'll click on assign here on the right on the left side. And we are going to repeat the first one through seven step that we repeated when we pointed the domain to this to Bluehost Seven server so when we try to change the server's name so here I'm going to type the domain I want to make sure I tap it right so you saw it verifying it so I'll scroll it down I didn't get it right Okay, so let me show you something. I didn't get the domain right. So you will see what he's saying here. He's saying that the domain is available for registration. Click here to register the domain. Well, it's not what I want. So that's one mistake to just show how that works. So we are just going to wait a few seconds for that to verify the domain for us. So the first things we did before was to choose a a server, a server to change the server's name to Bluehost. So now, two days later, we came back 
to verify the ownership. So Bluehost verified and yes, the domain are pointed to Bluehost site. So pretty much what we are going to do now is we are going to scroll down to step three. So step one is enter the domain and you choose use a domain that is not already associated with your account domain. That's why you choose the first time and this time as well. And make sure you type your domain name right. And you have to type it with .com if it's a .com you purchase or whatever that, that you purchase. We don't put www, just the domain name in our instance is here is libertaservice.com. So step two, verify ownership. So that one is done. Step three, choose add-on versus spark. Uh, we want to make sure add-on domain is checked for us. Otherwise, we need to check it. That's what we want. And pretty much what add-on domain is. An add-on domain is a domain name that points to a different subdirectory on your account. This gives you the ability to make it look like an entirely different website. And that's what we want. Is going to be a different website from the primary one. So we scroll down to step four. Choose add-on directory and subdomain. So we want to make sure that create a new directory is selected. Otherwise, we select it and we want to make sure next to public HTML um, but we have our domain here and you don't need to have that come here. You want the domain itself and the subdomain will be the same thing. And then the primary domain will be here. But like you can see here, this subdomain is required for cPanel. You will still be able to access your domain name directly by going to, you know, just uh, libertaservice.com. So now I'm going to click on the green button on the right side of the screen, at the right side of the screen, assign this domain. So I'm just going to click once and wait. The page is not going to do anything to show you that it's processing the request or anything. So there is another one that I need to do. I'm going to do that again. And then we will go back to the, in fact, we can just go back to before we go back to domain, I'm just going to click on assign here so that I can verify another one. And then we'll go back to domain to check all of them. So when I came here, so let me see, assign. No, so, so that's good to know. It's not assign we want, we want to go to domain because we don't want that to. So when I was on that page and I click on assign is still referring to that one. So I'm just going to click on domain and go from there. And it takes a little time to process the request. So since that one is done and while this is processing, let me show you quickly how you should enable your DNN SEC back. So we will go to our Google domain, we will log in, we will click on my domain here on the right, on the left side. Oh, let me see, hold up here. Okay, so I have them here and I need to go back to the one and that's this one. I will click on manage on the left, on the right side, at the right side of the screen or that one. And I'll click on the DNS on the left side bar. And I'll scroll it down and you can see that it pointed, you know, the name server change here where we 
have our domain name but what we are here is this one dnssec so we disable it before let's see if we need to enable it okay so it's now giving us any thing so okay so that's problematic we don't really need to do that i just came back here to check to see if i need to enable it back okay so now let's go back to our blue host here and see the one we just added to it and that's the one at the bottom here so if i wanted to assign another one from here i will click on assign so i'll click on domain on my domains and then i'll click on assign and pretty much i'm going to work on the one that i wanted to verify Uh, I can, yeah, let me just do that. And if verified, the add on is selected. Create a new directory. Let me check, is the way I want it. Let's go back here and make sure everything is correct. And I will just click on assign and give a few seconds and I will go back to the domain to check it all there. And by the way, I will have the um, instructions in the description and on our blog, ninasoap.com as well. Okay, so here, let's take a look at everything here. So you can see that's how the add-ons domain looks like. So we have the primary and we have everything else we added to it, added. And we have the last two that we work on here as well. So that's pretty much it. We just want to make sure they all are added to the main account that we have there. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Afiavi Ojune Libreman creators of Liberman Consulting LLC YouTube channel and owners of Nina Soap. On our website, our blog is ninasoap.com and our blog ninasoap.com we have our natural product store Liber our natural product store is ninasoap.com and we have our custom apparel design as well, liberlabel.com. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Thank you, you all that commented and thank you, you all that subscribed as well.